a little bit about uh, what you're seeing so far and how you are preparing. What, what are you doing differently? You know, in our acute care hospitals, so we've been as a system preparing for this for months now. Uh, and so I think the public can be reassured that I think we and uh, in all likelihood all of our colleagues around the country saw this coming uh, weeks and weeks ago. Um, we fully expected we would be seeing patients with COVID-19. We did finally see our first patients over the weekend last weekend, and we were grateful that we were so prepared when we had the patients and our team has really pulled together in a time where there are a lot of things that there are new new to us, but completely fit into where we do our work. When you say you saw your first patients, how did that happen? Did they actually walk in? We did Not have expectedly. A we had a patient who presented to one of our urgent cares and had a classic history and was identified over the weekend as you we've all been talking about testing's been one of the, th the slow things so we did have to a little bit of a probably 24 hours it took us to get confirmation of it but the good news is we had a suspicion of it based on clinical the clinical presentation and so the patient has done very well did that patient call ahead, or did did the patient just walk into the urgent care and kind of catch you all by surprise? I don't I don't have that detail. What uh, what is the proper things people should be doing? I've, I've I've heard call ahead, let them know that you're coming, so you don't inadvertently expose other people yeah. unnecessarily. Yeah, one of our uh, challenges is the fact that uh, people are, of course, there's a lot of fear out there, so we see a few people showing up. Uh, purely out of that fear. What our encouragement is, if, if someone has a reason to truly believe they have uh, COVID-19, is to call their doctor first and get directions. Uh, that can be coordinated with the local health department, and if appropriate, to be brought into the facility that's agreed to if they're truly ill. If they're not ill, then uh, through the health department, potentially get tested and not end up presenting. As you know, a lot of the patients are able to be cared for at home, fortunately. We had Dr. Scott Gottlieb, who used to run the FDA, with us earlier this morning, and he said uh, that, that people should not be doing, uh, interacting with the healthcare system right now if they don't need to, uh, doing things like elective surgeries. How, how are you all preparing for that? Have you been pushing off some of those elective surgeries? We have not. Uh, we believe our responsibility is to take care of all of our patients. Uh, and frankly, the overwhelming number of the patients who need care right now, of course, don't have COVID-19. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that could obviously change. This is a rapidly evolving situation. But at this point, uh, we know that uh, the overwhelming majority of people who need health care are patients who have everything other than COVID-19. So we're mindful of the infection risk of COVID-19, but at the same time, assuring the care of all of our patients. Also, the care of your workers, that's front and center all the time, is the healthcare workers on the front lines in any of these situations. What are they doing differently to prepare or just to make sure that they're protected if these cases do ramp up? Of course, education and awareness are key, and so one of the things that we focused on is assuring that uh, we ask uh, every patient and visitor uh, if they have any uh, reason to have COVID-19, and that would, of course, be either respiratory symptoms or fever. Uh, and again, the overwhelming majority of people don't have those things. If people have either of those, then we do uh, quickly mask them before they can go undergo a more formal assessment. And, Doctor, we, we've heard lots of stories about shortages of face masks, the N95 ones that, that truly protect healthcare workers, uh, things like gloves, things like ventilators, even. How are you in, uh, in terms of those supplies? Right now, we're in good shape. We do have to be mindful of that uh, no one knows how long this is going to last. Uh, and so I think we have to uh, all come together and assure that we do use the best stewardship for our resources. But right now, we're in good shape.